Hello and welcome to the iSlips demo on how to create time entries. This demo assumes that you've already done the sync process and have your data over from time slips into iSlips. Let's go ahead and create a new time entry. I'm going to go ahead and select the timekeeper. Now the first time that you select the timekeeper, it'll give the option to set as the default that timekeeper and hide that actual selection so that you don't have to keep entering it in each time. We'll go ahead and do that. Select a task. You can see it automatically fills in the description for you for that particular task. Go ahead and set a client. You can set a reference if you'd like. Description. Now, description supports landscape typing. It also supports the use of abbreviations. So if you have abbreviations that you use in time slips, you can go ahead and use them. And you can see it expands as you would expect. Go ahead and select a date. Set it for yesterday. We can set the time. And time we can go ahead and use the fast button or we can use spin control to set the time. Optionally, you can use a start and stop time entry to calculate out for you what your actual time was. You can see here the rate section. It's automatically calculated for us what the rate is going to be. You can see you can select a source, level, value, also what type. We'll go ahead and leave it as the calculation is. You can set the billable status or any other ones that you would need to use. We'll go ahead and save that. You can see that the list now contains the time entry. Let's go ahead and try to make a quick second one. Select a different client and we'll use today's date. Select an hour. Save it. Now, on the list itself, you can easily turn on a timer. And if you want, turn on another slip and have that other timer shut off. The app does support multiple timers that can be turned on or off in the settings. The slip list contains a couple of abilities that I would like to show you. One is to sort. You can see it's sorting by client or by date. Now in iSlips, the list does sort by the most recent date at the top to make it simple for you to find the most recent work that you've, you've been doing. The other items that you have are the ability to see how many hours that you've spent both billable and unbillable and charges and how many slips that you've entered. You also have the ability to filter and so if I only want today's I can go ahead and select today click done and you can see just the time entry that was entered in today is on the list. Now that date and this filtering is relative date and so it'll if you store it as today then when you come in tomorrow you will see just the slips for tomorrow. You have the ability to manually select the date range that you want also the client that you want to see on the list. We'll go ahead and clear that filter click on done. Now let's switch over to expenses. Now expenses are, is almost identical. It has its own sorting and it's got its own reporting and filtering. So that is separate from the time entry. As you can see it's automatically put in the timekeeper for you where there is no need to make a selection. Select an expense, client, as you can see it automatically put the description in for you quantity, price, 
save that and you can see time entry switch back and forth between time and expense and see the different items that you have now say for example you have the extra field that you use in time slips well by default that's not shown but you can come into settings and within settings you have the ability to show slip fields and you can see that it includes some additional fields that weren't showed by default and could, so we can turn on the extra field save that go in the time entry and you can see the extra field is now available to you to use that concludes our demo of how to put in time entries into iSlips.